It is here, it is finally here. The much awaited block ratio 4.3 with uh, the battery fixes and everything is here. So we're gonna check it out and see what the changes are. It's been a long time in the making guys and if you haven't heard of block ratio before then well I've made a lot of videos you can check it out from the uh, iCards up there. But uh, if you haven't uh, heard of it before and you're trying to download it first, well just search for ratio it's a productivity launcher there it is now it's available on the play store for anyone to download just like that but uh, it was available only for uh, selected kind of um, waitlisted users who would uh, kind of register on a waitlist from their website earlier now i have been briefly using it for a while and the animation seems smoother the settings are different yeah let's take a look together 500 years later so that's the ratio of four i mean the home screen is essentially the same I'm just going to go ahead and set it as my default home screen because I'm going to be using that from now. That's basically what you will get. Uh, I mean, it will automatically categorize apps into uh, these different sections which are called drawers. I mean, I've done a full walkthrough video. I'm not going to do the same thing again. But um, that's how you would uh, typically install it. And I think you can immediately see that the animations have gotten a lot faster. I mean, if you have used it before, that is, you would easily be able to tell that the animations are much quicker and a lot more snappier now. Let me switch over to my other device where I have completely set this up and we'll go over the features. Okay, well, this is my typical user interface. I'm gonna switch over to something that's a little bit lighter so you can easily see. Right off the bat, you see some time markers over there uh, right next to your individual drawers and well, you guessed it, they are basically the amount of time that you spend uh, inside each drawer and e there's even a time uh, over the uh, individual app itself. And of course, that's the notification pill that's uh, blinking over there and it tells you how long you've spent on each app. Like for example, I've spent 32 minutes today on YouTube Studio answering your comments. There's one there. 45 minutes on entertainment apps. I mean, I do watch a lot of YouTube. Zero on finance, huh? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, if you want to use a finance app, that means you need to have uh, money in your bank account. Only nine minutes of social media. Wow, I'm proud of myself. You probably can't tell this over this 30 FPS video, but uh, the interface is definitely a lot more smoother. Like the animation frame rates have increased a lot. Now the display on this phone isn't anything special. It's still a 60 Hertz display. But here's a secret that many companies don't tell you. The refresh rate of your screen doesn't exactly tell you how smooth your screen is. It's the refresh rate of the animation on your screen. For example, this animation wasn't this smooth before because there were physically no frames supporting its smoothness. But now it's really smooth because they have added more frames in the software itself. Hardware refresh rate only helps in one area and that's touch sampling. So how fast your touch is sampled across the display. So that's where hardware refresh rate comes into picture. Doesn't matter if you have a 90 Hz, 120 Hz, 165 Hz display, if the app you're using doesn't support high refresh rate. So remember that when you're buying a phone next time. Anyway, let's get back to the launcher. You'll see a couple of different uh, things in the in the settings here. I mean, the, the overall UI looks a little bit different. First of all, it's generally a lot more responsive. I mean, I noticed last time that this wallpaper section wasn't loading up for a, for a, quite a while, but this thing is uh, instantaneous now, as you can see. There are a bunch of new icon packs too this time around, like this one is called Reeve Lite, which I'm using currently. That's weird. I mean, some of these icon packs, when you open them, there is no option to select ratio. Like there are a bunch of other launchers listed, but I don't see block ratio anywhere. Why would they list it as a, as a supported theme here? I, I don't understand. There's a new lock feature for the uh, block ratio tree. So you can use your uh, phone's authentication, like fingerprint, face ID, iris scanner, whatever you have to uh, lock the, uh, the, you know, the tree app that you have. So that's just an added layer of protection. Like if you have left your phone on the table, you know, someone can't just swipe through and uh, read your emails and messages. So they'll they'll need these. I mean, we've seen how a tree works in the past, right? So you can check out that video if you haven't again. So we've gone through all of these features and they work pretty well. I'm really happy that the uh, overall user experience is smoother now. And this also means that uh, apparently this update brings new battery optimizations. And yeah, based on what, uh, my previous usage uh, just now, I don't see any major battery drain. But again, like I said, I'll be using this as my main launcher from now so if there is any abnormal battery drain i'll surely let you know through a community post or something so consider subscribing if you haven't i mean in their email newsletter they have shared some couple of other interesting things coming up like the uh, there's going to be a dock apparently uh, i mean i don't see why that's required i mean this is supposed to be a minimal launcher right the tiles are good enough uh, based on what i have used and there's a giant universal search bar there anyways so we're going to see that in a coming update i guess i mean sure some people might have requested it I mean, that's the thing I like about a uh, ratio. It's a, it's a community driven, uh, universal launcher, right? So uh, they, they take into account a lot of things like uh, user input is, a, is of great value here. A lot of companies take their customers for granted these days. And the fact that this company is taking so much care into tailoring an experience to their users, well, that's really refreshing to see, isn't it? I mean, I was already pretty concerned about my smartphone usage and now I have these 
very helpful and very in your face um, timers that are certainly reminding you that hey bro you've been using your apps for two and a half hours no big deal and of course the permissions tab is still here so this app makes very apparent what kind of permissions it's using since this is a home launcher it will need quite a lot of permissions to operate as your you know your main desktop so it's being uh, it's being very clear about what it's using and you can easily revoke any access that you don't want it to have Seriously though, I'm really loving how fast this thing has been made since its launch. I mean, uh, you can clearly see the uh, uh, difference in animation speed. There's a helpful new addition to the uh, root section here on the, on the left side, which is called tickets. Well, it's exactly what you think. It's uh, uh, tickets of all the flights or anything that you have booked on your phone. <laughs> Flight tickets. Lol. Traveling in 2021. Yeah, right. So with this uh, section always available here, you can easily click on the plus button. It will bring up the camera and you can easily scan for uh, some QR code which is present on the ticket and add them there. So that's pretty useful. It will always be there on the left side whenever you want. So that's awesome. So after 25 years, when we can finally travel again, uh, you can use this feature. It has some few new cool wallpapers. I mean, that's kind of nice. Now let's check this out. Pretty cool, huh? Well, you get the idea. There were a bunch of few welcome changes, but the most important one is the uh, the battery optimizations that they're promising. Again, from initial impressions, it seems very promising, but uh, I'll, I'll use it in depth and I'll let you know if I have any further updates. But I think it's going to be much better than what we had in its early days. Again, block ratio is freely available to download from the Play Store, so you can check it out yourself. If you have any further questions that you would like me to cover or anything like that, uh, leave them in the comments, I'll answer them. Alright, I'll see you next time. Cheers.